For the past couple of years, Fujifilm has been growing in popularity in the APS-C market. It has a well-built APS-C camera lineup from high-end features with higher price tags to affordable ones. As there is a range of Fujifilm APS-C cameras, one might find it daunting to find the right one that is the best for the budget. But in this video, we will discuss the best Fujifilm APS-C cameras to make your search easy. So with that being said, let's get started. First, we are going to discuss the Fujifilm X-T4, the most feature-packed APS-C camera from Fujifilm. It features the 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS 4 APS-C sensor along with the high-speed X-Processor 4. This high-performing camera can shoot 15 images with its mechanical shutter and 20 images with its electronic shutter per second. As for videos, this camera lets you shoot internal 4K videos at 60 frames per second with a 10-bit color depth. And if you're a slow motion lover, you can also utilize its full HD videos at a whopping 240 frames per second. Moreover, you will also get a smooth handheld video shooting experience with its 5-axis image stabilization which offers 6.5 stops of stabilization. And the 425-point hybrid autofocus system is capable enough to detect subjects in as low lights as minus 6 exposure value. Additionally, there is a high-res 3.69 million dot OLED electronic viewfinder along with the 3.0 inch vari-angle 1.62 million dot LCD touchscreen which is handy for vlogging and content creation. Overall, the Fujifilm X-T4 is an all-rounder APS-C camera which suits the broad genre of photography and videography. Next, we have the Fujifilm X-E4, a pocket-sized retro-looking camera from Fujifilm that features a 26.1 megapixel APS-C X-Trans BSI CMOS 4 sensor. With the X-Processor 4, it can shoot 20 frames per second with its electronic shutter. Additionally, this camera is capable of shooting UHD and DCI 4K videos at 30 frames per second. For slow motion, you can also opt for 1080p videos at 240 frames per second. Its F-Log also lets you extract more colors in post-production. However, the 30-minute recording ceiling might be an issue if you're recording longer content. Though it has an incredibly accurate and fast-performing hybrid autofocus with 425 points, there is no in-body image stabilization. Moreover, it also lacks a fully articulating screen. In short, the Fujifilm X-C4 is an excellent camera for those who are into making short videos and capturing still images and want a camera under a thousand bucks. Next, let's discuss the most recent addition in the X-Series, the Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II. Featuring a 26.1 megapixel APS-C X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor along with X-Processor 4, this camera is capable of capturing 20 full-width images with its electronic shutter. Moreover, you can also record UHD 4K videos at 60 frames per second with its 420 10-bit colors. And for slow motion, you can crank up the frame rate up to 250 frames per second when shooting full HD videos. It also comes with 425 points hybrid autofocus points that detect the subject even in minus 7 exposure value. However, you might need a gimbal or a tripod with this camera as there is no image stabilization. In short, if you're looking for an improved version of the X-T30 with an affordable price range and want to capture excellent camera videos and images, especially in low-light situations, then X-T30 Mark II is an ideal choice for you. Next, we will take a look at the Fujifilm X-S10, a camera that includes all the high-end features for vlogging, content creation, and more. Equipped with the 26.1 megapixel APS-C X-Trans BSI CMOS 4 sensor, it lets you capture 20 frames per second with the electronic shutter. Besides, you can also shoot DSI and UHD 4K videos at up to 30 frames per second. And for slow motion videos, you can enjoy up to 10 times slow motion while shooting full HD videos. Apart from that, there is 425-point hybrid autofocus system that utilizes both phase detection and contrast detection autofocus. The autofocus almost covers the entire sensor, so you can focus on subjects even if they're on the edge of the frame. Moreover, there is 5-axis image stabilization which smooths out your footage up to 5 stops. 
In summary, Fujifilm X-S10 is an affordable version of the X-T4, which has high-res video and image-taking ability with impressive autofocus and stabilization. Lastly, we have the Fujifilm X-T200, a beginner APS-C camera with many unique features to ease the photography and videography experience. This camera includes a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and is capable of shooting 8 frames per second. Besides, it lets you shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Alternatively, you can also choose to record full HD videos at 60 frames per second. And for the electronic stabilization that this camera has, the footage looks quite sharp and blur-free. There is a bright 2.36 million dot OLED viewfinder for an almost lag-free and vivid view. Also, you can utilize a 3.5-inch touchscreen LCD that comes with 2.76 million dot resolution. One of the most striking points is its autofocus, which includes 425 phase detection points and a contrast detection area. This is something you cannot find in many cameras at this price point. Overall, if you're planning to get a budget APS-C camera with adequately good features and superb autofocus, the Fujifilm X-T200 is just for you. So that was all about the best Fujifilm APS-C cameras. Every camera has impressive video and image capturing abilities with different price tags. So which one do you think is the most suitable for you? Let us know in the comments section.